Hey ladies, I'll be giving you a detailed tutorial on these beautiful island twists, so stay tuned. No Yana, but that to me amazing. It's getting hot in here. Take it up, baby girl, it's blazing. First, you need two pack of deep weight bundles, about five to six packs of molly hair, depending on the size twist you're doing. Take your bundles out the pack and spray them with water mixed with leave-in conditioner. Cut all the hair off the web so you can start separating your curls. You don't want to make your pieces too big, but you also don't want to make them too small. So somewhere in the middle would be perfect. I like to separate all my bundles on my tray first so I don't have to stop in the middle of the service and keep having to refill the tray. You want to now start parting out your sections. I like to part as I go. I'm doing about medium twist, so I want to match up my parts with how big my twists are going to be. Add some gel to the root of the hair and start braiding. After you braid down a little bit, you want to start feeding the molly hair in. I like to use about two strands for each twist, but that will vary depending on how big you're doing your twist. You braid the molly hair in a little bit and then you begin twisting. To keep the curls secure in the twist, you want to feed it in like how you would feed in the molly hair and twist it down a little bit. You'll then take the piece of the curl out, clip it away so it won't get in your way. Add some gel on the hair that is still in the twist to blend it with the rest of the twist and just keep twisting down. You'll repeat the same process throughout each twist. So you'll add the curl in, you'll twist it down a little bit, pull the curl out, and then add some gel to the remaining hair in the twist and keep twisting down to the ends. Don't worry about too much excess hair sticking out because you can just go through and cut all of the excess hair off at the end. For this next clip, I put the hair up so you can see what I'm doing better. So you will braid the curls on at the end and braid it down as much as you can, maybe about three or four times. And you'll take a little piece of the molly hair and just wrap it all the way around. When you're done wrapping the molly hair around, you'll just take a little bit of nail glue and apply it at the end and seal it with your fingers. Then you're going to take your scissors and cut the extra molly hair off. You're going to repeat these same steps for each twist. Here I'm going to show you how I like to position the curls to frame my client's face. We're going to start with the braid and then we're going to feed the molly hair in like usual and braid the molly hair in.
I'm going to start twisting the molly hair just a little bit and then I'm going to add my curl in. When I twist the curl in, I like to pull the curl out facing towards the face. I like adding in the curls this way so that once you're finished all of your twists, it will give more of a layered look around the face. For all of the twists, I like to add about three curls throughout each twist and of course a curl at the bottom. For a more fuller look, you would maybe want to use about four to five curls throughout and then the curl at the end. Here I'll just be showing you how to secure the ends again. So you will braid the curl in with the molly hair, take a little strand of the molly hair, and then wrap it around. After wrapping it around, you'll take a little bit of nail glue to secure the curl. Then after you secure the curl, you will take some scissors and cut the excess hair off. Pull out any edges that you would like to leave out the twist. I add this twist a little bit further down so I can give it a little bit more volume around the face. I'm going to twist this twist down just a little bit and add the curl higher than the other curl.
I'm gonna add this curl high too as you can see all the curls are starting to frame her face very nicely For this last twist, I'm going to add it as high as I can. All that's left to do is the edges. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below. Bye.